Hey, what's up guys? John here from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extend a fade out on a song artificially and without stretching or doing anything that's going to degrade the sound quality. This is a mastering project and in the original recording, which we cannot go back to the original mixes on, he has a, a child saying something and he decided he wants it taken out. So here's the last couple seconds of this song. You can hear the keyboard fading out behind the voices, but we want all of those voices taken out. So it's gonna be trimmed back to here-ish, back to here. So we have this much audio to work with to make our fade out. We could do it kind of the quick and dirty way by grabbing it, alt, dragging out the edge, but it's gonna sound pretty terrible. Let's just hear that. Let's put in a, a linear fade. Yeah, totally changes the sound. We don't want to do that. Uh, what I ended up doing in the project was taking a small section like this of the fade out. Probably get a little bit more. Just going from where we can't hear the voice anymore. All right, about there, it looks good. So I'm going to hold down command and drag. That's a uh, control on the PC. And that makes a copy of the selected area of the item. So I'm overlapping this about half, right? 25% here, 25% here. It's overlapping 50%. My default fade shape is uh, equal power. Let's actually change that because it's something that, that we will be fighting on this here, uh, this. Default crossfade shape, we're going to set that to linear. All right, so set this one to linear. And now we're going to reduce each copy of this selected item by 12 decibels, exactly 12 decibels. All right, so that's the first one. Here's what we have so far. So far, so good. Select this item. We're not selecting the time selection anymore. We are selecting the item here, holding down command, dragging over, and overlapping them about 50%. So about there. And this one, again, we're pulling down another 12 dB. So down to minus 24. And it can be a little tricky just to get that exact. Okay. All right, so far so good. And now we're gonna drag this one again, overlap it like that, and then we're going to drag this down to minus 36. Right there. And again, all the way to minus 72. So 36 and 48. Come on, 48. This last one is going to be minus 72, and we should really hear it past that. So let's see what we got. So that's a pretty clean fade out. Uh, I could probably do it better. The actual master was a little bit easier to work with than this for whatever reason. It took me a few attempts to get this video recorded. But this is a, a technique that I've used in different projects. This is just the most recent example that I've come across. Um, and I think it's a neat trick and kind of one of those things that you might not need it too often, but uh, this can really fix uh, fade out on a guitar where he fades it out and then he you know, flubs a note or something like that. You can extend the note without stretching using this technique and it works really well. So you're copying a clean section of the fade out and you're reducing the volume by 12 dB, and you're using a linear fade because you're going from very similar sounds. If you use the other fade shapes, like this one here, you'll get a volume bump. You'll hear where the edit was, and this is a smoother curve for this particular type of edit. So that's it, just a really quick tip. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.